Today's video, I'll be showing you how to uh, record from a video game console and have it displayed to your uh, HDMI video capture and also to your monitor so you can play it at the same time. And in order for you to do that, you need something called an HDMI splitter, which you see right here. And the way you hook this up is like this. Um, there's two sides of the deep sides of this. One side is for the output, for the input. So this input is what you connect from your video game console HDMI port to here. And um, another HDMI connector is from here this thing to an output here doesn't matter which one it's the same thing I put it in like this and this part goes to the monitor which it's going to be outputting to right the monitor the HDMI video capture and this is from your video game console you need another HDMI cable for that so you need a total of three HDMI cables to do this and I think to get the best um, bandwidth you should use shorter HDMI cables like I'm using a short two two short ones one is uh, a longer one which is from my video game console to this part and two short ones from my video game for my computer which this is going to be outputting to and my monitor and you also need something to power this up this is a 5 volt uh, micro USB connector right here. This uh, device came with this cable. And you would connect this here and you would get a 5 volt USB adapter and connect it to that. And that's how you would get it to work. So I'm gonna go and connect it now and show you. <coughs> Okay. First things first, um, this thing is going to be connected to my video game console, which you see right here. Connect that to my video game console. And this is from my monitor for the second display which is right here goes in like that and the next one is connected to my HDMI video capture that goes into the HDMI splitter for the output just like so and I connect this part this USB part to my computer I have a USB extension cable let me locate that got so many cables here it's okay I just connected that to the computer via USB extension cable which is right there sorry about the mess I have so many wires here now that it's connected, I need, I'll go back to my computer and show you how to connect, how to get the software so you can start recording. And I need to hook up the 5 volt micro USB cable. I'm going to connect that to an adapter, which I have here. 
connect this part so I can power it up. Now it's powered up as you can see. There's a red LED. When I power it up there should be a green light that comes out. Now I'm going to go back to my computer. And I'm also going to turn on my video game console as well. Okay. Now I'm back on my computer. Um, you need a program called OBS Studio to find it. find it here um, you could I'm using Windows 11 professional so I'm gonna be selecting this I'm gonna download that and install it which I already have I'll leave the URL for you so that you can go to this URL and download it it's a free program that you could use for capturing video so um, What I'm going to do now is I'm going to power up my video game console. And as you can see, there's uh, two green lights on. That means that the splitter, HDMI splitter is working now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start OBS Studio. And I'm just going to delete this and start over from scratch so I can show you go to add here go to video capture create you could put whatever name you want doesn't matter i have two i have three video capture devices so i have to select the right one so it's this one right here okay and now um i'm recording from the screen basically This is nice and everything, but I want to be able to play this on from the video game console, not on not on the software, which has latency and has problems. It's not ideal for capturing game capture because you want the least amount of latency possible when you're doing that. Let me go back. To record, I could press record here. I can also go here to advance and hear the output of this. And I want to go back and show you this part. Need working. Hear the sound as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start recording, okay? Pause here, go back, start recording.
Okay, that's all good and everything. I'm recording, right? The next thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to go to my uh, camera, back to my camera, and show you that I'm recording from directly from the video game console. So I'm going to do that now. Back. Still recording the game. Okay, now I'm back to my camera, and I'm going to show you that I'm recording from... Let me get this thing out of the way first, so I can get a better view. Okay, now I'm going to go to the video game console directly. So I have to use a switch to do that, a HDMI switch. I'm going to go back to video game console and show you that it works. But I gotta get the. Okay. I'm able to get the sound, it's on my headphone. You can't hear it from that. But I'll show you that there is a sound. Let me get the headphone out so you can hear it. Press start. Okay, so you saw that. I was able to record. I'm still recording on my um, deep uh, HDMI capture and I'm also able to play this separately on a screen. This has no latency. I'm like playing it on the DVR software or digital video capture software. that's good so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back to my computer so I'm gonna get out of the camera and go back okay okay so now I'm back on my computer stop recording play back what I just recorded That's what I recorded earlier. That's how you use a HDMI splitter with a HDMI video capture, as you can see. And I'll show you some of the settings that you can set here. If you would like to add sound, you can, like voice. You can go to add here and add input capture, audio capture. You could add whatever you want. You could add your microphone here if you want. And you could get um, audio capture as well. You can, with your microphone, you could set to other stuff here. Like um, recording, you could set the directory that you want to record from. For me, I set it to H 
drive capture that's what I set it to you could set it to whatever you want where you want the video recorded to you could change the recording format I like mp4 or mpeg4 you could select any of these if you want but for me I by default it was FLV but I, I selected this and uh, you could you could do hotkeys on starting to record or stop recording or any anything here um, I just put um, I could put control F12 as well. R, whatever you want, it doesn't matter. You do some of the settings there if you want. You could ch change the recording resolution. But I like 1080p, so I selected that. And that's the very basics of it. That should get you, that should be enough to get you started. And you could change the output quality as well. You could change the FPS to 60 if you want, um, NTSC, PAL, or whatever. You could, you could do some experimentation with that. Let me see where the... Output quality is color, color format. So this is for the quality. You could set it to high, and if you set it to high, it's going to use more uh, hard drive space. But I like normal, but you could set it to whatever you want. If you want higher quality, you could do that. But just keep keep this in mind. It's gonna the files are gonna be bigger. That's all I want to share with you today, and I just exit here. Uh, if you have any questions, you could leave in the comment section below. And um, one of the limitations of um, a HDMI video capture device like the one that I'm using now is that uh, you cannot record the game while you play it because there's only one HDMI um, input, right? Or output, I'm sorry. There's one input from your video game console to the HDMI device. So you're only able to record, view this from your DVR software, but the method that I used allows you to play the game while you record it. So that's the difference from the video that I made last time about just a HDMI um, recording device. So anyways, thanks for watching.